everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression of some products that I bought for the month of January that only arrived like yesterday and we are on February 5th, something like that. That's what happened when I live in Israel. So for me, what I tried in January ended up the M ended up being the M Cosmetics stuff and what I'm trying in February will be the Ritual Defee products that I got from uh, Cult Beauty. I got the Ritual Defee Cultist Ash and Ember uh, Eye Soot. I guess the shade is Cultist if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure. I also got the Inner Glow Cream Pigment in the shade Arrows, which is a product that I got because I was influenced by the one and only Hannah Louise Poston. She is just creme de la creme type person. Finally, I got something because of uh, Amanda Z. She's another one of those type people. And this is the Rare Light Cream Luminizer, but I didn't get it in the shade that she used because I think it was out of stock or something. I got it in the shade Ice. So, here we go, this one. I can even show you arrows. If you are someone who knows Anna Louise Poston, you would know what arrows looks like. Okay, I also decided to finally try out the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter situation. Now, I won't lie to you, I'm going to be completely upfront and tell you what happened. I filmed a look with all of these products but I used this as foundation and I hated my face. I really did. So I took everything off, I deleted all of the footage and I'm going to film everything again. But this time with a face of foundation. This foundation is insanely cheap and mm, delightful, delightful. It makes me feel like, why am I even bothering with my project pan foundation but I insist on finishing that one anyways so what we are going to do is very simple we're going to apply all of these products and I'm going to tell you a few things first of all I'm going to tell you that if you watched my um, I'm using the whole flawless filter something something but if you watched my low buy you would know that one of the reasons why I decided to have like some sort of a budget is because I wanted to take a UX course and the reason why my uploads have suddenly like shrunk to one video every so often is because I started taking it early January and combined with my graphic design course and this now as well as teaching privately it's just a bit too much it's taking so much of my time and I'm struggling with finding enough time to film and finding enough time to take extra good care of myself so that I can be the best version of myself as I do my work in the world <laughs> that's all I have to say um, so I applied the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter situation like only on the center of my face, my chin as you saw, the bridge of my nose and the center of my forehead and this is exactly the effect that I wanted. All over my face just wasn't cutting it. I did not like this area being so dewy and so glorious. I did not enjoy it. I think that this is a product for targeted areas unless you like to look like okay listen dewy is not even a word dewy doesn't even come close to describing the effect of this this makes you look i'm sorry but kind of borderline oily in my opinion and i know that i may be the minority here because many people love this this is like a cult product i like it too but i just don't like it all over my face and I'm not going to use it as a highlighter today because I want to try out the Ritual Defi uh, ISO product. Okay, so that's... I think I'm going to also try... You know what? I'm just going to add a little bit of it right here. Just three dots to see 
what happens because I'm curious. I'm a curious person. And I think that one of the most important qualities in a person is curiosity. Hmm. I like it. I really like it. See, like, almost like a small T. Right here. That's it. It's not necessary to have this all over the face. And it's absolutely not even, like, when you use it without a foundation, and your skin is not perfect, which is the case with most people, you will realize that it doesn't cover as much as you'd like, and sometimes it accentuates texture and pores and blemishes and all of those nasties. Anyways, so uh, moving on from that to the Ritual Defi Inner Glow Cream Pigment. I'm actually going to use this both on my cheeks but on my lips, but on my lips comes last because I do lips as my final step. I'm not going to apply any bronzer or anything else today because I'm planning on creating some kind of an editorial look. Now, I tried it with a brush and I didn't quite love it. And I tried it with a with my fingers and I really enjoyed it more. Let's talk about this texture, okay? This texture is kind of waxy. It's almost like something it's like it's like butter. You have to run your fingers so that it becomes like more emollient. It's not emollient like butter, it's emollient like wax. Um, that's the best way I can explain it. Now, it looks like it has a lot of pigmentation. It, um, it does, but nothing that makes it difficult to use, especially when it comes to blending it over top of bare skin. I'm trying it over top of foundation for the first time because, you know, I'm a curious person and you're supposed to be curious in this world. Um, but, yeah, this is the result. I'm going to build it up slightly because, as you can see, although it looked scary at first, it blends in very nice. Let's pick up a little bit of my foundation, but um, I don't think that it looks bad. I'm going to try to attempt to create like a very blushy, almost editorial look. So that's why I'm I'm taking my blush really, really high, almost meeting my brow. See the difference between this side and this side. This side looks very blank, you know, and this one looks flushed, but not in an unnatural way considering that this looks like teriyaki, dark teriyaki. This looks like, I, I, yeah, it looks like something else that I can't help but think of, but I'm not gonna say it, and it's not what you think. No, it's, it doesn't start with S. It starts with something else. I'm not gonna say it. There is no way that I'm gonna say it. I'm going to try and just like go over the edges, like with stamping motion, with my um, Real Techniques Expert face brush. Actually, I'm going to do that with my foundation brush. Just ever so slightly. Next is going to be the highlighter. This is the uh, Rare Light Cream Luminizer in this sort of shade. Um, I didn't expect it to be quite as like purpley pink, but it is. But it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation. Can you even see it? It's not really pigmented. It's very sheer. So let's see how it looks. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. It looks very natural and the good thing about it and what I noticed also like the first time that I applied it over top of the Charlotte Tilbury stuff is that it doesn't have any detectable like glittery or shimmery bits. It's a very creamy glow. It almost looks like it's coming from within and I know that this is like a very overly used and not always accurate uh, term but I feel like especially with this it does look like this glow is coming from within and it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation I'm wearing a highlighter it doesn't look like that look at it it looks very almost like my skin could produce it I'm going to use this video to talk about some kind of a heavy topic and this is something that I feel like gets overlooked in the media and it really really drives me nuts and that is um, a bit of a political topic and I don't like to talk about politics a lot on YouTube because who does? It's not a topic that is fun but I don't know if you know this but I live in Israel I'm Arab, I live in Nazareth and let's say that for as far as I can remember, as long as I can remember, violence uh, has always been an issue. Um, and recently in a city, I don't know if it's a city or a village actually, but it's called Tamra, there were a few people who were, um, you know, having a fight, a armed gun type of fight, and the police got involved, and the person that lost his life by a police officer had nothing, nothing, nothing to do with anything that was happening. He got shot by a police officer for just being there at the wrong time and he lost his life. He, another guy was shot with him but it wasn't as serious, clearly he's alive and doing somewhat well. But what is really concerning is that for once when the police actually actually tried to get involved in all of this they killed an innocent person yet again the police doesn't really get involved with a lot of the violent news that are very much a problem in the Arab community they don't I think that they don't because like hey we're killing each other it's a win-win situation right um, but every time they do it ends up with a worse disaster the consequences that we pay for the police intervening are worse than what we would have gone through had they not even gotten themselves involved. This happens all the time. This incident is just one example of many. Now, what I'm really annoyed at is not just what happened, but that police brutality in Israel gets completely overlooked completely overlooked no one pays the price for police brutality in israel no one in fact i'm pretty sure that they are celebrated for their actions allegedly um but i do feel like the media doesn't shed enough light on Arab news 
in Israel. They do talk a lot about the conflict, like the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Uh, but they don't talk about Arabs in Israel enough. And there are so, so, so many incidents that happened in the last six months. Eight months, actually, because I remember something that happened in June. That every time it happens, I feel like the world will be talking about it and protesting about it and everything. But it goes radio silent. I don't know if the media doesn't talk about it enough. I don't know if the media intentionally doesn't bring up police brutality in Israel. I don't know if that's the case. But... They... If they don't, then that's a problem. Because police brutality... I appreciate policemen who do their jobs with integrity and with care and with love, without prejudice. But I know that that's not the case with everyone. Just like not everyone is supposed to be a teacher, just like not every teacher is a good teacher. Not every police officer does it because, you know, they really want to help people and keep them safe and all of that. That's not always the case. And that's not just the situation in Israel. This is the situation in so many places. I haven't even talked about this yet, but I will. Okay, you know what? Enough, enough on this topic. I'm going to leave some uh, braiding material in the description box if you're curious. But I really do think that something needs to happen, that the media needs to get involved, and that the world needs to know about what's happening. I'm going to go off camera, apply mascara, come back here, apply the cheek product on my lips and wrap things. Before I do any of that, I want to just like dull down a little bit of the glow right underneath my eye and talk about one more thing that's much more lighthearted. Um, okay, I'm using just like a powder that I have because I don't know why I didn't pick my project pan powder, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, so about... Uh, oh much better much much better now it looks intentional when your highlight is all over the place it doesn't look intentional it looks like you don't know how to apply highlighter or that you are really really like um, editorial for every day and sometimes it's a bit much for some people you do you at the end of the day but for me I think that this amount of glow is just right Okay, so, I don't know, about oh, two weeks ago by now, a guy approached me and we started talking a little bit. It didn't really last much because I knew what kind of a person he was. And when we talked, he asked me a little bit about myself and then he brought up religion. And Personally speaking, I don't have anything against anyone with different beliefs or anything like that. I don't have anything against any religion. I'm, I'm okay with every religion as long as it's not done extremely because I do feel like any type of extremism, even if it's like extreme liberalism, like you do you, you just like walk naked in the middle of the street, no one cares, like I'm against that. But I'm also against people shoving religion up other people's throats. So um, I mentioned that I personally don't see religion as something that is for me. I just don't see it and that's okay. I mean I respect other people who have different views and I expect that to be mutual because respect has nothing to do with religions, because respect has nothing to do with religious views or political views, like you have to respect other people because they are people, you know? Uh, but we moved on and then he started talking about kids and I'm talking about like the second or third day of us talking and I was like, mm. okay, if this is what you're talking about in the second or third day and you, uh, you're asking me if I want kids, first of all, 
I don't know if I want kids or not, and I'm not going to tell you whether I know or not. I'm going to make it clear that I don't want to be in any type of a tie, a connection with people like that. What so I said was not, I don't want any kids. Not that I don't know, not that I'm questioning it, not that I am not at a place in my life where I get to uh, consider it or anything like I'm, 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 I'm single. I don't, uh, I'm still building my career because of COVID. COVID kind of took away what was going on and I'm starting to like rebrand myself, recreate um, and work not from scratch, but moving paths, changing paths, changing directions. So um, I said no. And he was like, oh, may God bless you. May God keep you safe. May uh, God do whatever. And then, bye. And I was like, oh, finally, <laughs> finally, this is a relief. I was enjoying it while it, while it was happening because it's fun to like talk to absurd people because this conversation won't happen in normal life. No one will ever say anything like that. And it kind of gives you an opportunity to just like view yourself as normal for once. And also view yourself as someone with good etiquette. Because no one normal would have this conversation with a anyone else on the third Facebook chat or second even, I don't remember. No one normal would do that. And if anyone does that, my advice is shock and scare people off. Because first of all, it's really fun. It was really, really fun for me to like, to like shock him and scare him off. And I don't regret it at all. Uh, but don't go along with them. These people are not the right people for you. Also, people who shove their their beliefs on you. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not against people having a conversation about their beliefs or anything like that. But when it feels like someone is preaching, and not just like having a discussion, you know, like a normal discussion is supposed to be, then my advice is also run. Anyway, so. Long story short, <laughs> I think I scared him off and I'm very proud of myself. So yeah, let's move on and talk about this blush uh, as a lip color. I did that, I applied it on my lips. It required some building because as you can see, considering that it looks like teriyaki, I don't look like I have teriyaki on my cheeks. I look like I have something very natural on my face and I love it but um, if I want to build it up it's buildable and because I don't smear it as much as I smear it on uh, my cheeks it still maintains a little bit of that uh, pigment now this is not Mm, sold as a lip product and in fact they do have lip products Ritual Defi do have lip products but they didn't seem like that interesting to me so I didn't get any and when they do apply them uh, when they do apply these products on their lips they like make sure that it's smudged and it looks grungy, kind of gothy a little bit, especially with some of the darker shades. Because they have a shade that looks almost black. And they smudged that so much. And it looked really editorial and definitely not like something that I uh, would ever apply on my face. Not because I don't think it's beautiful, but because it's too wild for a little old me. So yeah, um, 
let's talk about the eye product because I really didn't give it the attention it was because I was just like I I I, I was swept with a more serious conversation. This is divine, beautiful, stunning. I'm obsessed with it, not only with this product as a product, but this color is so beautiful. It's called Cultist, it's a horrible name, but it's like this beautiful, silvery, taupey uh, shade with beautiful gold, sparkly bits. It looks wet on the eyes. It does look completely wet. It looks like you have eye gloss all over your eyes, but it lasts. It lasts and lasts because this thing is not tacky. It doesn't feel like a cream eyeshadow or anything like that. It feels completely set. I do anticipate these to be extremely long lasting. I haven't worn them for the entire day or anything like that. So I, I, this is not a review. This is just my expectations. And these expectations will be followed up with a thorough review eventually once I give these products a better uh, shot. But when it comes to this, my honest advice is start off with your fingers. Build the color where you want it with your fingers and then take a brush and uh, sweep it and like blend it because when you apply it straight from... Okay, I'm just going to show you. When you take the, your brush and you swirl it in this pot and let's imagine that this is your eye, okay? And I'm not even like taking it far but as you can see, there is not a lot of pigmentation. It's just really sheer and sheeny. Can you see that sheen? It's beautiful too, but it's not going to give you this effect. If you want this effect, go straight with a brush. But when you go, when you go with your finger, you need to have really, really tiny nails because this thing is not that generous. But when you go straight with your fingers, okay, I uh, hope that you can see the difference. You can even build it up more and more. Okay, look at that. See that? That is beautiful. Then you can take a fit, you can take your brush and just like bl bend, blend it. I was gonna say bend it or some other word, I don't remember. And then you can what you can do is you can take this and blend the edges once that once you make sure that you have the opacity where you want it to be. But this is a very versatile product. You can wear it as intensely as this or as sheerly as this, as like almost a wash of color. It's really versatile and both ways are absolutely stunning and I am just really happy to have this. In all honesty, and it's a serious problem. I want more of these, and, but they're expensive. They are expensive. And I don't regret the color that I bought. I think that I got the best one because this is very unique. And for some, especially for this current moment in makeup time, uh, the world seems to be kind of in love with cool tones. And this is one of the most beautiful cool toned eyeshadows that I've ever seen and ever applied on my eyes. Like right now, I don't feel any kind of like, mm, any kind of agony with the thought of decluttering stone folk, fox cold stone cold fox. You know, that, that Colourpop shitty palette. That Colourpop palette belongs in the bin especially when you have something like this okay now this is a single eyeshadow and it costs a lot of money and this is kind of unnecessary because you can get a palette but if you are not the a kind of if you have a lot of palettes and you like neutrals and you have all of the neutrals that you like you don't think you need more neutrals don't get a palette just because it's cool toned get a single shadow that you know that you're going to use and love does it have to be this expensive? Probably not. Am I sorry that I spent however much this was on this beauty? No, 
I think that I made the right decision. And I want more of these, but I'm not going to get more of these because that's stupid. Oh, one thing I forgot to say about this is that although I applied it after my foundation, there is no fallout. There is no fallout. It's beautiful. I love it. Anyways, so let's just like rank them off of first impressions. Quick ranking. My absolute favorite is the Isot situation. My second favorite is Arrows. I just love this color and it looks beautiful. It looks natural. It looks like something that I can wear and feel like I look like me. But I had an experiment. It was fun applying my makeup that day because of this. Now, this is where things get a bit more complicated because I like both of these just the same. I think that this is more versatile because it's more neutral and this is more like cool toned and almost purpley. I hope that you can see it's like a, it's like a purple. It's like an iridescent purple. This is more neutral and this will probably get a lot more use than this ever will. Uh, but in terms of formula, I think that this is a special product. I do. This is also special because I haven't tried anything else like it. Where, but this, there are plenty of products that are just like it, but don't do what this does. Because this looks seamless on my face. Like when I look at my face, like even in person, even in person, I cannot tell where my highlighter starts and ends. It looks blended, it looks seamless, and it doesn't look chunky, sparkly, glittery, any unnatural word that you could use to describe a highlighter, this looks like it's a highlight coming from within, and I love it. So, um, ah, and I didn't mention that I don't know if I will use this for my lips again. I don't think so. Let's try to make it a bit more grungy. No, I, I, I still don't think that I'm going to ever use it again for my lips. I think that I have a lip color that's very similar to this already, and I'm probably going to use that one. But this is a beautiful product. I don't know if it, if it works on the eyes. It would be an interesting experiment. Maybe I can do like a full face of this. Would you be interested in seeing that? Hmm, let me know. But yeah, this is all for today. I'm sorry about the heavy part, but I this has been weighing on me for the past five days. It happened on February 1st and today is February 5th. So it's been weighing on me for a few days. And I just, I'm just wondering why the world is so unbothered with what is happening to us. Um, I feel like this is us because I'm also an Arab. And I feel like sometimes I could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And maybe something like that could happen to me too. And I'm not, I'm not saying that what's happening to us is so unique to us because it happens all over the world. But in many countries, it gets the media talking. It gets people talking. But in here, people have moved on already. And it's pissing me off. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you like this look and I hope that I gave you a fair first impression. And if you would like to know anything else about these products, stay tuned, subscribe because a review is coming. And if you want me to make a video of a full face of arrows, I can do that. I can do that, absolutely. Not like a foundation or anything like that, but like a blush, eyes, and lips of Eros. Like, well, that would be a beautiful like, monochromatic look, I think. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you think in the comments or underneath. And see you soon. Bye-bye.